Where you been now? Bus goes in 15 minutes. Farm. I had to get this back. I, I, I'll want something to read. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm already upstairs. Your mother's up there. What's the book? Oh, David Copperfield. You'll be lucky if you have time for reading. I never did. Have you got it? Of course, he doesn't need much. What do you mean, he doesn't need much? Well, they give him the rest. Clothes, rations, you know. He needs what I've given him. Time for the bus, lad. You don't want to miss that train. Bye, Mum. Good luck, son. Seeing now, dearly beloved brethren, that this child is born again and received into the family of Christ's church, let us give thanks unto Almighty God for these benefits, and with one accord make our prayers unto him.
that this child may lead the rest of his life according to this beginning. Are you for the camp? Hey, you. Are you for the camp? Yeah. A bit late, son. The others got in last night. I know. I got caught up in that air raid, eh? Yes. Oh, well, never mind, son. You have to walk. <laughs> it's not many miles. Put the case down. Name? Thomas Biddows. Sir? Thomas Biddows, sir. You're late. I look like an officer. No, sir. Don't call me sir, then. Who gave you permission to fall in? To what? To enter, to come in the room, to open the door and make an entrance. No one. Get it right, then. Go back outside, knock, and when I say yes, come in and say permission to fall in. Go on. Meadows, your case, take it. Yes. Who are you? Beddows. Permission to fall in. Come in, Private Beddows. You can have that one. Leave that. You're late already. Haircut's next. You'll find the barber shop next to the company office. Next. Stand still. Stand still. Next. Next. Name? Better, sir. Skinny, aren't you? Yes, sir. Got a cough? No, sir. OK, clothes on over there. Next. Are you going to stick that in me? Arm, please. Feeling better, are you? I don't like needles. Is that all? I don't like the old sod in army. Malcolm Partridge Silver Young. Right, let's have a look at you. Can you tell me what you've got there? One pair of shorts, PT. One pair of drawers, cellular. One balaclava. 
One pair of braces, one pair of boots, great coats, socks, vests, gaiters, webbing, packs, large and small, battle dress, gas mask, mess tins, mug, knife, fork, and spoon. Anything else? I don't think so. What's this? It's a pull through. You're learning. Okay, all of you, you're gonna keep this lot so clean it dazzles me, and you're gonna start now. Let's get two things straight right away. The first thing, the word of command, stand easy. You will not move at all until that word of command is given to you. You will not fidget, move about, or anything else. Is that understood? Yes, Is that understood? Yes, Oro! Yes, Regimental Sergeant Major Palmer. Right, any questions? Regiment told me in 1685. Yes. What for? I mean, was there any special reason? What do you think? I don't know. To impress the French. Right, let's have a look at what you've been doing. Stand by your beds! Shall we? Ah, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, perfectly two, three, ranks. Quick, ah, to center, three, front, 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 three, and fall over. Your arm up. Oh, yes! Front! Beddoes, isn't it? Yes, sir. What haven't you done, Beddoes? I seem to have neglected to blank with the belt underneath the buckle, sir. See to it next time. Yes, sir. By the right! Back! I need a fag. They're ahead. Will you go on? I'm stopping for a smoke. I 
I hate this war. You'll get through. No, it's not A. It's me girl. We was engaged, see, and... And then, when all this come along, well... Our old man wouldn't let me marry her. Sod him. Said we could wait till after we won the war. <laughs> Bastard. He let the Jerry's poke his wife if as much as knocked on the door. fly. Failed the medical. Didn't know that. Who you got waiting for you, Tommy? Who have I got? Well, there's Mum and Dad, I suppose. And Tina. Good for you, mate. <laughs> Let me guess. She got brown hair. Brown eyes, pale skin, nice tits, right? Tina is a cocker spaniel. She's a lovely dog. A bitch. Yeah, a bitch. What are you gonna do when all this is over? I don't know. I've got me plans. Garage, mate. I'm gonna buy a garage somewhere around here and set up scrap metal business on the side. How about coming in with me, Tom? Hey, we ought to go. Come in with me and the lads tomorrow. We're celebrating in the training. Pub crawl in the afternoon. Sleep it in the evening. Yeah. Yeah, OK. What's the film? Forget the picture, mate. It's a women. You get next to a nice piece in the back stalls, you'll be away before the tiles come up. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. They've got at least ten minutes on us. You think so? No bleeding navvy for us tonight. I'm going down. What, down there? Yeah. Hey, don't do it. You kill yourself. Fall in. Is 
0900 hours, you will parade at the main gate where you'll get the transport to take you to your units. You'll be back here by 2100 hours or your mother won't recognize you by the time I'm finished with you. Forget what I've told you and you won't be Humphrey, around to it? write me a thank you letter after the war's over. Making a signal, Benos! Only for victory, Corporal. This is Movie Town.
Hello, Jack. All by ourselves, are we? You're a solitary sort of geese, aren't you? I felt like reading. Christ, I wish it fucking war was over. You spill your blood and guts to help the Belgians, and then four years later, you get ready to spill them again to help the fucking French. And in between, you go paddling down on the south coast, learning how to keep your bloody rifle dry. <laughs> fucking mix up, if you ask me. I've been in His Majesty's bleeding forces four and a half years, seen active service, and now they want to send me back to bleeding battle school. You know what that means, don't you? No. It means we'll be the first to show when they do put on the sodding invasion, that's what. I suppose someone's got to go first. It's no fucking joke. You will now be taken to the coast, where you will be joined by Allied forces and take part in combined exercises and assault training.
This is a bloody nightmare. I was sick. Watch out, we're going in. Stand by to hit the beach. It's a lovely crumpet, just waiting for it. Are you ready? Have you got any cigarettes? Freemans again. Yeah. Take them. Right, Pete. Uh, I'll follow you. <laughs> Early tonight, lads. Got any wine, have you? Wine? Oh, two pints of brown ale, then, please. Vintage? Look around, my boy. What'd you see? Half the regiment. <laughs> yeah. So. How long are you lads going to be around here? Oh, we're not going to be around much longer, do we? Carl. Have you been here long? What, sitting in this chair, you mean? No. Here. Generally. About as long as most people, I suppose. Oh. And you? What? How long have you been here? Just arrived, really. But, um, I don't think I'll stay long. It's a bit dull, don't you think? What's dull? Dances, all this. I don't think dancing's dull. Oh? Huh? Then it... Uh, will you have a dance with me, please? I don't mind if I do. How are you doing, Arthur? All right. Watch out. I'm sorry. I'm not very good on my feet. Shall we stop, then? No, no, let's go on. Please. Is that any better? You're not as bad as all that. Shall we go outside for a bit? What for? The rain stopped. All right. Is this your yes. coat? Not really. What do you mean, not really? Well, I've been on training, and that was tough. Really? Yes. Do 
you like it? What? Being a soldier. Not much, no. Then why are you? A soldier? Hmm. I was called up, like everyone else. Is that all? No. It's got to be done. We've got to finish it off and pay out the ones who started it. Yes. I think you're very nice. Do you? Yes, I do. I like you, too. I feel much better now. I was quite nervous when I first talked to you. It's funny. I know. You thought the dance was awfully dull. I didn't really. No? No. C can I kiss you? If you want. I've got to go now. I'm with my brother. He's in the band. Hold on. But when can I see you again? Whenever you like. Not tomorrow. Monday? Yes, I like that. Here at six o'clock. All right. Will you walk me back to the hall? Anywhere you like. Back to the hall. I wish I'd met you before. There's so little time now. What do you say that for? I don't know. It's just a feeling. You'll be back, and there'll be time. Where are we going? I've lost all sense of direction. A game of musical bloody chairs, mate. Thousands of us moving around from camp to camp, waiting for someone to shout. Second front, last one over's at Charlie. First one over's at Charlie, if you ask me. You'd think they'd have a bit of sympathy for us by now, wouldn't you? Send us by train. The GI told me where to find sympathy. It's in the dictionary between shit and syphilis. <laughs> Somerset, and now we're back again. We'd like to settle down, we seem to hope in vain. For someone's passed the word along, we're on the move again. We don't know where we're going until we're there. There's lots. 
lots and lots of rumours in the air We heard the captain say We're on the move today We only hope the blinking sergeant major knows the way bad in Somerset where the cider apples grow It's not so bad on Salisbury Plain with a Mary Jane, you know It's not so bad in Lancashire a couple of weeks a year But oh crikey, where do we go from here? They've chased us round and round the barrack square And now we're on the road to anywhere No one's in the know We're singing as we go Oh, we don't know where we're going until we're there You won't be doing any work. If you're wise, you'll take advantage of it. Sorry about the tight security. It means no wireless sets, newspapers, or telephoning, and I'm afraid none of your letters will get posted until afterwards. I'm sure all of you realize the importance of what lies ahead. That's all for now. All right, Sergeant Major. March! I thought you were meeting me tonight. I was called away. Why? To fight the war. Couldn't you have told me? There was no time. So you left me? There was no choice. Are you coming back? Don't know. Am I going to wait for you? I don't know. I do, though. Goodbye, Tom. Please. Don't go. Fill in the form, please. Name and address of next of kin. If I get killed, they've already got a photograph. It's for our records, Private Bellows. Oh. And follow the sign outside, please, and get your anti louseware from the stores, if you haven't already. God. How much more? There's a will form, B2089, to fill in. What for? What do you think?
cannon fodder. That's what we are. Die of boredom, die in battle, what's the difference? Did you hear what Tom did this morning? No. He went to see old Nickleby and asked him if they give our compassionate leave if there'd been a death in the family. So Nickleby said, well, yeah, yeah, depending on the circumstances. And Tom said, well, there hadn't been a death in my family yet, but there's going to be one very soon. I'd request leave to go home and console my parents. <laughs> <laughs> what did Nickleby do? He sent Tom with a note to the M.O. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy, he's nuts. Yeah, no, 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 Tommy's not nuts. We could do with a break. Well, we could all do with a break. It's been nothing but film shows, housey housey, and lemonade and the bleeding affy when the beer runs out. Ah, ah, wait for me. Don't tell me it's your birthday. Yeah, a couple of days ago. The mail's held up. What's that? Hmm. It's a key. It's a funny sort of birthday present. What's it for? Well, it's a custom in our family, you know. Key of the door, coming of age. You know the sort of thing. You're just 21. Yeah. Happy birthday, kid. Plenty more of them. Thanks. How about this, Jack? Oh, that's nice. I think I'll go and get some ink. And right back to them. Can I have a look at your cards? Yeah, help yourself. I'll see you later. Post Office, England. Dearest Mum and Dad. Thank you very much for your letter and the presents which have just arrived. My fountain pen works very well, as you can see. We're very cut off here, as you can see from the address. I don't know where we are exactly. And it was so nice to hear from you. You don't have to worry about me. We are eating very well in this camp. Although the beds are hard, I'm getting plenty of sleep. We all think the invasion can't be far off. It's like being part of a machine which gets bigger and bigger, while we grow smaller and smaller until there's nothing left. I wish I had some news. Yesterday I saw a fox on the other side of the barbed wire. And when we could still go out, I went to see this happy breed with Celia Johnson in it. I thought it was terrific at the time. But I can't remember much about it now. It seems so distant. Everything outside the army and my mates here has faded away. even more traveling the last two weeks than when I went to France on that school holiday. But I couldn't tell you where we are or where we've come from. All we seem to do is sit in trucks and barracks, 
waiting for our bit of the war to start. At any other time, your news about Tina would have left me unable to think of anything else. But now it just seems part of the war, like everything else. I was going to ask you to keep one of the puppies, but I don't think there's much point. I don't think I shall live to see the end of this war. It sounds silly, but this war has killed so many people already. I'm just going to be another one. Of that, I'm sure. I can feel it, the way you feel it when you're going to get a cold. I didn't know whether to tell you. I thought you shouldn't get one of those official letters without knowing what was inside. Please be brave. I shall be all right. I'm not frightened.
necessary to burn all personal letters and papers or wrap them in the paper being issued to be sent home. The choice is yours. You will carry nothing except your paybook part one and Bible. Got nothing now. I've thrown it all away. I don't think I'm going to get through this. You'll be all right. We'll get you through. through this lot. So much for the seaside. Why didn't you become an officer, Jack? I feel the initiative test. They locked me in a broken down potting shed and told me to imagine I was a prisoner trying to escape. If I use that wall, I'd be shot. If I climb that fence, I'd be electrocuted. If I trod a year there anywhere, I'd be blown up by hidden mines. I didn't 
move a fucking inch. <laughs> if they hadn't come and let me out, I'd have still have been in that shed waiting to become an officer. This is it. We're going in. Well, Meadows, how many VCs in the regiment? Five VCs. Name of the commanding officer? Lieutenant Colonel Hutchison. When was the regiment formed? 1685. Jesus Christ. Names of all the birds Arthur's had since he joined the army. Belinda? Yep. Mabel? Yep. Alice? Ah, she was mine first. Janie? Who's that? Shall I show you how we were both dead? Oh, God, he's dead. Oh, no. Fuck. 